This episode of the SHL podcast is brought to you by the Big Chili Magazine, where in this issue, there's a great article about a Bangkok-based company that does CGI and post-production that has attracted some major brands titled From Traditional to Cutting Edge. Welcome back to the SHL podcast. It's been um, almost two years, but we're happy to be back. Two long years, finally back. Season's about to start this Sunday. We're excited. I'm Zach Block, joined today by Jesse Starosta. Welcome, Jesse. Hey, Zach. Nice to be back. Yeah, it's good to have you, and want a big thank you to Dom for being our director in studio here. (laughs) So, long hiatus, but we're back. We just had the SHL draft party, and one of the things that I heard a lot of people talk about, and I'm excited for as a fan, is how balanced the rosters are this year. And as a captain, right, you had some insight into that. Yeah, I think we have four uh, great teams this year. A um, couple new sponsors, a couple new teams we'll get into in a second. Uh, but yeah, overall it should be a very balanced league, very uh, good skill level as well. Um, we've got, obviously, my team, KCG. We've got Aware back for, I think, their sixth year sponsoring. Big they've thank been, you to Team Aware for sponsoring us for so long. They've been here since the beginning and, and continue to go strong. We've got Siam Mandalay again this year. And a uh, new sponsor, uh, the Lexicon Lumberjacks, this year as well. And if you haven't done so, go take a look at the SHL website, cmhockeyleague.com. You can see the Lexicon Lumberjacks logo. I think that the team who put that together along with Justin's you know, input did a really good job. Yeah, it's a great logo. great logo design. Uh, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to having them on board. And uh yeah, good team name too, the Lumberjacks. Yeah, as we talked about at the party, you know, for our fans, it has everything. It's got alliteration, it's got a good hockey name, the logo yeah. is great, so we're happy all around. Yeah, yeah, should be good. Um, and then the biggest thing this year is uh, the new rink. We're, we're, we're going to be playing on, you know, NHL caliber uh, ice for the first time in, in Thailand history. Can't give a big thank you. Olympic size, yeah, Olympic size rink. Can't give a big enough thank you to the entire team who put together the Thailand International Hockey Arena. Uh, it's such a beautiful facility, hockey purpose facility. Yeah. Stays nice and cool, so the quality of the ice is great for the skilled players. It's not like in the past when we unfortunately had you know, a little bit of slush by the second game. But living in a tropical country, they're doing the best they can, so we want to give a big thank you to all the folks involved with that. Yeah, but I think that's a problem of the past. Where we got we got clean ice now going forward, great rink, new one's going to open soon. So uh, yeah, things haven't been better in Thailand for ice hockey in a long time. We also want to give a big thank you to our newest sponsors for the offensive, defensive, and goaltender of the months from Easy Health. So a big thank you to you. And for our players of the game this year, we want to give a big thank you to Get Fresh for sponsoring the player of the game. Getting into the rosters, so we'll start with you. Jesse is going to be captain of the KCG roster this year. And I'm just going to read off the names really quick. For your goaltenders, you've got Gabor Toth, and you've got Dom. I'm not going to try and pronounce your last name, Dom. <laughs> and then the players we have Alex Phelps, Brandon Vick, David Bohr, you yourself, Jesse Starosta, Paul Stoddart, Nick Lampson, Roman Laren, Ichiro Hara, Christoph Anlicker, Tan Limpimpet, Grant, I'm not going to say your last name, mm-hmm. Jan Isaacson, and Alistair. So... Again, right, we talked about already, the balance is really great. As you were thinking about your draft and the players you wanted to have, what was kind of your, your thought process? Yeah, I think uh, really going into the draft, it was about getting a good balance, getting a, a good mix of uh, forwards and D, uh, as well as two strong goalies in Dom and uh, Gabor. And actually this year, it's the first year we're going to have backup goalies as well. So every team has two goalies on the team. Um, so it should be exciting uh, get everyone more involved and, and a chance to feel you know part of the win when when they come in sure. as well in the past for those of you who might not know it was typically speaking one goaltender per squad and so as we discussed it's going to be good to have some fresh faces out there you're going to be going up in the first game against aware aware this year captained by harrison ostamel first time you guys aren't together yeah i've been the <laughs> assistant captain on kcg a couple of years running with harrison uh, but now he's defected to aware, so <laughs> defected. 
I'll, I'll take over the captaincy. For Harrison, he's going to have Jimmy in goal along with James. Jimmy and James, good, good combo. <laughs> On his skaters, he's going to have Kelly Shim, Devin Michael, Michael White, Eric Foley, Nico Kaditz, Matthew Mallard, Oleg, Corey Day, Ono, Patrick Forstner, Ernesto Bauer, and Gabe Roscoe. It's going to be Oleg's first time in the league as a full-time player, so we're really looking forward to that. He is uh, a force there. O- Oleg's a difference maker. He played in the BIHL. I, th- I think he played SHL maybe the first or second season um, before, but uh, maybe only as a sub. But that guy can skate. He can play. He's, he's very, very good. And I'm looking forward to see Jimmy because he's one of the young Thai goaltenders. He's going to be playing as a backup this year, but it's going to give him more and more opportunities. I mentioned Corey Day's name. Unfortunately, we heard that Corey had a bit of an injury earlier in uh, some of the pickup games in Shinny, and uh, we're sad to hear that Corey's going to be unavailable. Yeah, it's uh, fresh information, so we don't have all the details yet, but it looks like he'll definitely miss this week's games and and, uh, maybe longer. So we wish him uh, best of health and, and a speedy recovery. Something else to think about is some of our other players might be on vacation, might be in other places. For example, Patrick Forstner, I think, is in the United States. Is he going to be back for our first week of games? I think he's here. I think Ben is in uh, the U.S. for the first one. Okay, but Ben Kleinische, one of our goaltenders. But I've heard Patrick has gotten quite big, bulked up. He's been working out, working on his uh, acting skills, (laughs) his his bod. (laughs) Yeah, well, he's he's um, we're we're playing them, so he's he's going to be a handful. Uh, I believe they're playing him on defense this year that was something um, a lot of people discussed with harrison's roster he doesn't have any natural defensemen he's got a very powerful offense but it comes at the expense maybe of, of some defense <laughs> so going into this game going against aware what do you think you're going to have to do to be successful yeah I, I think we match up well uh like i said they have really strong firepower up front uh so we gotta you know we, we have enough defense and, and strong enough team to, to be able to, to take that on and, and hopefully counter them and, and try and, um, you know, just grind it out over a 60-minute 60, 60 game and, and uh, come out with a win. All right. I'm looking forward to seeing it. And it's going to be, like I said, the first matchup between you and Harrison on opposite sides. That's going to be my favorite little storyline <laughs> in the game. Yeah, but it'll be a good matchup on our side. we got some new players to the league as well. Uh, we're ha- happy to welcome Nick Lampson. He's new, uh, really strong guy, uh, player, half Thai, half American. Um, he'll be coming, uh, you know, we, we expect big things from him this year, and, and he should be a big part of the team. Dom, who you mentioned, the goaltender, he's new to the league this year as well. Um, but I've heard great things about him. Seems like a good guy. I met him at the, uh, the draft party, so that should be good. And um, Ichiro? Ichiro, first time in the league. Uh, he's a rookie to SHL, but he's been a, a regular in Thailand hockey. So he should fit right in. Grant? And Grant, um, he, uh, I haven't met Grant yet. He's moving to Thailand in, in a couple of weeks. So oh, wow. uh, we'll, we'll see him when he gets here. But <laughs> we've connected by email. Great. Seems like a good guy. So, um, yeah, should be a great team. Good roster this year. And for Aware, like we mentioned, Jimmy's played youth hockey here in Thailand, but he's going to be joining, which is going to be exciting, his first season. I don't think Kelly's played before. I don't recognize his name. I think Kelly's a young guy. I think he's okay. just eligible for the league now. All right, great. Well, we're happy to have a new Thai player. You know, that's one of the great things about this league is we have such a nice international balance between local Thai players, young guys coming up, and then, you know, international teams. And that's been really pleasant to see. And you've seen the growth in the last several seasons of Thai hockey, and they've gotten better and better. Yeah. And Ono's new. Yep. Jesse's played with him before you. Yeah, Ono, ono comes out to Shinny all the time. Really good kid. Um,. He's, he's uh, I think, just eligible age-wise to, to play in the league. Um, so a lot of things are expected uh, from him, but good guy, should be uh, having a great year this year. Actually, several guys on Aware that I don't recognize. Eric, Nico, Matthew, uh, James we talked about. Uh, so we got a lot of not new Yeah, James, the fun. goalie, he's new to Thailand, um, but comes from Canada. He's got a good pedigree. He should be a big addition to the league. Eric, um, Eric's played a bunch of shinny. Okay. Um, plays defense for them. They'll need him to step up on D. And Nico, I, I believe he's also new to the league. Rookie this year. Um, friends with Corey Day, so actually with Corey off the team, we'll see how that affects Nico's status, but should be all right. And Matthew? Uh, Matthew, I think he's Swiss. Um, 
rookie. He's come out to Shinny recently. He's got a shot. Um, guy can play, so that's a big addition as well. Talking about, as, as I said, the international nature, I think Nico might be our first Filipino player, so we're really happy to see that. Another place that you know hockey's growing and getting better in the world, but uh, it's really fun how many different nationalities we have represented. We do, yeah, yeah. Um, from all over the world, and, and every year we get more, so it's continuing to grow. It's fantastic. In our nightcap in week one, we're going to have CM Mandalay playing against the Lexicon Lumberjacks. Yeah, so uh, Lumberjacks first game in the SHL. Uh, CM Mandalay this year captained by uh, Mike Friesen and the Lexicon Lumberjacks captained by uh, Justin St. Denis. So for CM Mandalay, their roster includes Jeff Bonazzo, Andy Shee, Friesen as we mentioned, Ed McConnell, Scotty Murray, Saku Rantanen, great hockey, hockey name. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> CJ Gamble, Ralph Dittmer, Dream in net, Igor as well in net, Adam Simpson, Mike Poirier, great French name, yeah. Andrew Roscoe, and Dan... Good luck. Yeah, <laughs> Dan, Dan Sinaglia and Tom Stasny. So the first thing that jumped out to me, I said this when I uh, saw the rosters, mm -hmm. is having, in my personal opinion... Friesen and Stasny as the two best centers in the league on the same roster is yep. going to be tough for the rest of the league. They, they, they have good chemistry from last year as well. Um, but yeah, I think my guess is they split them up. So you've got, you know, a line one and a line two. That's just going to be very, uh, very strong no matter what. And they've got a couple of new guys uh, to the league who also seem uh, very strong. They got CJ Gamble. Uh, he's been coming out a uh, good player and Jeff Bonazzo. Um, another guy, great speed, uh, really good passer, and should have a big year. And we've heard from the grapevine that Simpson is a pretty strong player from the UK as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, although a big question, I think, as you're going to see with a lot of teams, is uh, who are they going to play on defense? So True. they've got they've got some questions there. I think they've got um, some mainstays on D in Ralph, in um, and doesn't Andy know in Andy yeah. Andrew Ross and and Andy C she she, but. Um, then, then you've got a few uh, open spots that might have to be converted from some guys who can go both ways. Maybe that's Adam Simpson, who we were talking about from the UK. He can play that. Jeff Bonazzo, I've seen play defense. That's a possibility. Scott Murray's played back there in say, the Murray past. That's around. a possible one. Um, and we'll see as, as the season progresses. There might be a couple other new guys who, who can do that as well. Scotty um, Hockey, 62, I think, this year? 62 is Six, still going strong. 62 years young. I want to say uh, he's, had a, he's had a, a little bit of a tough year. You know, he had the accident with uh, getting the hockey puck. We want to thank everybody who donated to help his surgery. And uh, we're happy to hear that he's mostly back and he's going to be playing this year. So, he's so playing more to... than ever. So yeah. it, it hasn't slowed him down. He's playing great hockey. He's still got his stick handles. and, and uh, He's crafty. He's, he's crafty. <laughs> he's a vet, for sure. For the Lexicon Lumberjacks, as we mentioned, captained by Justin St. Denis, their roster includes Adam Williams. Ken Kinborn, Joe Savvy, Pon, John Chiknoski, president of the SHL. <laughs> As, uh, <laughs> I would love uh, Justin's quote. He said, well, you know, I have to have the president just in case anything, you know, happens that's going to be ruled in my favor. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yari Erikainen, Kim Arola, Ben Kleinische, Peem, Lance Parker as well, and Ned along with Ben, Dennis Omelka, Korn, Roger Promtong, and Mark Vatsis. Yeah. Roger it was the rookie of the year last year. Got our, <clears throat> excuse me, sponsorship as we have every year. A young Thai player has been sponsored by a hockey legend here in Thailand. Yeah, Mr. Johnny Oduya. Mr. Johnny Oduya. For those of you who love hockey trivia, you know back about ten years ago now when the SHL, excuse me, the NHL had their lockout, Oduya came here to Thailand and it really helped grow the league. And since then. He's always sponsored a young Thai player every season, so a big thank you to Mr. Oduya for continuing to do so. Do we know who the young Thai rookie? We don't know who the Thai rookie who is going to be sponsored this year, but again, we want to thank him. Yeah, I think applications are open still, or yeah, hopefully a couple of new guys uh, apply for that, and, and yeah, we'll announce the rookie of the year at the end of the season. So in this nightcap, what do you think that CM Mandalay and Lexicon can each individually do to be successful? Um, so just going back to the Lexicon roster here, I think uh, they, they went the opposite strategy. I think they're really strong on defense, um, and then it's going to be about if they can get enough firepower coming out. But they've got Ken on defense, which is 
very good start. One, you know, one, one I don't of think you can get any better than there. One of the best players um, on the Thai national he's team. Captain, uh, or yeah. He's, yeah, he's, he's a stud. He's one of the best players in Thailand by far. Great guy. Uh, definitely a leader on the ice. He, he'll quarterback that defensive unit, the power play, everything. So it all starts with him, uh, which is a great start. Then they probably pair him with uh, Adam Williams. He's uh, new to the SHL. He played, actually, he played BIHL with me last year on the Icebreakers. We had a great year, finished second. Very solid uh, defenseman over there. And then they've got uh, Yari and Dennis uh, on defense, two really strong defenders. Uh, and Joe Seavey, who's another rookie this year, uh, who's going to really strengthen that defensive unit. They're, they're five strong. Certainly, and then they've still got some great power, firepower excuse me, on offense. Roger, as we already mentioned, a yeah, rookie fantastic of the year. rookie season last year. Um, Kim. John Chignoski, Kim, right? They've got a lot of guys who can really break out and uh, score on their offensive side. And Justin also, I think, made a note of trying to get some of the guys he had on the team last year so that there's more uh, continuity. He's bringing back uh, John Chechnovsky, FBI. Peem, Lance. He's bringing back Kim. He's bringing back Peem. We had at the start of the year last year, Dennis, Lance, uh, Justin himself. So, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're going to have good chemistry from the get-go. Different jerseys, and, and I'm sure Justin hopes they have a, a slightly better record this year. Yes, yes, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then on the goaltending front, like we mentioned, I think Ben's out of town yep. uh, for the first few weeks of the season, so they should be starting Lance this year. Um, and then um, on the CM side... They've got Dream and Igor, so they might have a goalie battle throughout the year. That should be exciting to watch, who, uh, yeah. Who, who gets the games. We'll see how they split that up as well. Both guys can be a little bit streaky, you know, so we'll see what happens. And then maybe Mike Friesen decides to play the hot hand. We'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's, it's going to be, be an interesting year on that front. But in this game, yeah, I think both teams um, are very strong and balanced. It's going to be a question of offense versus defense to a degree. Um, and goaltending could play a factor as well. I'm excited to see how the better quality of ice compared to previous years might affect some of the playmaking. Yeah. You know, are we going to see some more stretch passes? Are we going to try and see some more dekes and some skill plays? Versus in the past, it kind of had to be grinding, you know, because of the quality of the ice. Because of the quality of the ice, you're right. So the, um, it's, it's, it's a lot more wide open. Uh, the skilled players are going to have more time and space. Um, so, yeah, it's going to make an interesting year. We'll see how that plays out. Again, as we have talked about, playing on an olympic size rink as well, you got more space to work with, so that might affect some guys who might be more used to smaller sizes. Like, if you're playing in the BIHL, BIHL is actually a quite tiny rink, mm. only plays four on four, and you yeah. can easily score with a pass from the... Yeah, those games are, can be 12-2 or 12-10. 12, 12, they're, they're pretty high scoring and uh, two strides away from, from the attacking zone. Correct. So that should be fun to watch as well. <laughs> <laughs> awkward pause <laughs> just thinking about what to say no but it, 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 i'm excited you know it's been such a long hiatus for us with the cm hockey league being gone and we're really excited to get back into it first week of games is going to be october 16th this coming sunday following week as well october 23rd we're going to have the second night of games all broadcast on youtube as normal we want to give a big thank you to keith and his entire group who helps put that together and just a reminder games are at uh, 8 30 and then 9.30. So this Local week time. is KCG versus Aware at 8.30, uh, 8.30 p.m. Thai time. And then um, Siam Mandalay versus the Lumberjacks at 9.30 p.m. We also plan on bringing back, <clears throat> excuse me, chat with the president. So thank you, John. You want to get insight in the Oval Office. And I think we're streaming live to a lot more... Um, places this year as well do we have info i think keith talked about that he has plans to have live streaming as well with some more places so if you like sports like hockey please check out keith thailand tv tv he'd be happy to get the more viewership and if you do love hockey on the youtube channel keith's got all the rosters of old games from previous seasons he's got from past summer the thailand under 20 tournament they hosted from the Asian nations, yeah. as well as Thailand's games against South Africa. So if you're if you're craving some more hockey, it's all on ThailandTV.tv on YouTube. Perfect. I want to give a big thank you to Dom for being the director behind the chair. It's different not having you in front of the camera, Dom. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thank you all so much for joining me, Zach Block, Jesse Starosta. We look forward to seeing you at the rink.
The music for the opening and ending credits are brought to you by DJ Caucasian. The opposite was very strong. I, I was good. The Sport Corner CM Hockey League News is brought to you by Big Chili Magazine, the best read expat lifestyle and news magazine in Thailand. It covers interesting issues in Bangkok and the region while bringing its readers engaging stories and various exclusive interviews, food reviews, and more. You can find the Big Chili Magazine in bookstores and online at thebigchili.com.